I speaking here? Take it. First Timothy 4 16. Take it. Take it to yourself. There are things to take it to number one yourself. Yourself. Check your life. Are you growing? Every day you must check yourself. Go back to your old messages and listen to them. Are you growing? Check your prayer life. Are you growing? Assess your life. Are you spending more time on your phone? Take heed to yourself. If nobody tells you the truth, tell yourself the truth. Take it to yourself. Examine yourself. Second Corinthians 13 5. Examine. You are just done that phone. Two hours, three hours, four hours. It's not a sign of growth, sir. It's not a sign of growth. Take it. Take it to yourself. Take it to yourself. What has your dream become? Check all your needs. Check all your needs. Check all your to-do list. Everything there is, is about yourself. Yourself. When you become worried about yourself more than about what God has given to you, take it. Take it. How many people are crying? Are weeping are wailing because of your nonchalant attitude to them in work take it take it to yourself take it to yourself take it to your marriage take it to your marriage take it to your marriage you can't be saving the world and losing your wife saving the world and losing your home take it take it don't spiritualize that relationship with your wife. Naturalize it. Take it. What happened to your mouth that you don't kiss that woman? Who cursed your mouth? Who cursed your mouth? When I see pastors who can't play with their wife on the church, they're trying to be spiritual. In the house of God, I can't hug my wife. In the house of God, is it a shrine? God loves me more when I show my wife love take it ah, Papa what about that what, what's she talking about don't I give her money sir to have a balance of it's not just finance there must be romance take it to your marriage when your wife is glowing in fact how many of you are not married yeah, raise your hand you are not married you are not married raise your hand raise your hand put your hand down put your hand down how many of you are married legally married not not roommate take it make her happy when your wife calls you, make her happy. Anyhow she wants, make her happy. Take it. How can you say you are waiting on the Lord? Pastor, you did one week fast, two weeks fast, three weeks fast, one month, two months, three months. Your wife said, touch me. Say no. You are carrying too many things on your body. Deliver. Take it to your marriage. Take it. <laughs> you know, there are so many people. Oh, I should not. Okay. All right. Let me let me keep quiet then. Sir! Adam! We are saying Adam. First Adam. First Adam. First Adam. First Adam. He failed. First Adam. He failed. The first Adam's failure was connected to a marital failure. He succeeded in everything except marriage. So there can never be the restoration of the second Adam except we correct the error of the first Adam. And what the, what, what the second Adam did is to help you correct it status-wise. Correct it in the spirit. But it won't correct it in marriage. It's left for you to correct it in marriage. Correct it in marriage. Kiss her. Hug her. Happen? What happened? Your wife is standing on the altar. Is no, 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 no. There are women they do everything to get close to the husband. No, 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 no. This is church. This is church. Really? <laughs> really? Ah! Take heed to your marriage.
Take it. It is easy to raise children when you love their mother. It is easy. You don't struggle to raise children when you love their mother. It's easy. When you hate their mother, you lose your children. When they come for you. A pastor was about to warn his wife. The, the son held his hand. See if you try it. So I came to me, sister. I'm seeing my own son. I said, hey, calm down. Before his son does that, you have not loved their mother. You call their mother names in their presence. And they are seeing you. And they know you are guilty. You call them names. They have abused your wife like crazy. The members now know the way you abuse your wife. This happened. Your wife says, it's okay, it's okay. The same way to woman abusing the husband. Members know that you have no regard for your husband. Your husband said, please come to the house. Oh, believe me. In public. And you are looking for mic. Who will give you mic to preach? You are looking for you are looking for you are looking for special attention when that man has become nothing before you. You will finish the man. Call him the hey, 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 hey. you say God call you. God did he call you? I know God did he call you. I'm just keeping quiet. When I will disgrace you, the man is dying. Can I say this to you? Many pastors, if they give them opportunity to repeat a partner, to repeat a partner, they will come close to that man. Can your husband look at you from his heart? Not that you just bought him a gift, from his heart. And say, if I'm to come to this life again, I will still marry you. How many men can say that from their heart? How many? Some are managing their marriage. Then that home, just praying for God to do something. When a man has made a mistake in marriage, I say, oh Lord, do something. You don't know what that prayer means? Oh, you think? <laughs> he said, Lord, do something. He, don't, he, he, he doesn't want to verbalize it, but he has intentionalized it. Say, Father, do something. You have to correct this mistake. And there's only one way to correct it. Somebody has to go. <laughs> and the bad wives that lead down bad pastor's wife they live long i'm not joking bad pastor's wives they don't die no they can't die your prayer can't touch them because you are there they are like bulletproof you are in your room fire she said no way fire no way we are here we are here we are here say fire consume they will say i don't you fire I do. if i should come to you she will be laughing after you finish praying she will hug you shake you in her mind and neutralize whatever you thought <laughs> your marriage praise god uh -uh. your wife has not been at home morning till night you can't call her your wife can even leave the house for three days not take single call from you she come back welcome she's living bye bye she come back welcome sometimes my wife leaves the house comes to the church and she's in church i arrest her life where are you he said i'm in church okay i call again what are you doing ah he said i'm still in church okay after two hours are you still in church he said my husband wait oh, what is the matter i said no i'm just i need to know because there's no way this rapture will happen that i didn't go <laughs> it's not possible if i didn't go it doesn't happen <laughs> where are you after all, i say okay tell my daughter talk to, talk to your father after a while she comes home one time i came home to carry her came to church she said, follow me for this work does not finish follow me <laughs> and there are women that all kinds of people and let me shock you <laughs> we live in a world that has become so devilish that you don't give that woman attention wonder your nose somebody else will give her attention yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. there are many pastors who move to certain pastors with their wives in mind with their children in mind with their puppets in mind with their cars in mind with their help imagine what the pastor told me say apostle if you love me i should know all you all i should know everyone you know i should know everyone you know i should know all you know I said, the kind of love that will make me tell you all I know is not love. 
is stupidity. It's everybody that is your son that God has blessed you are supposed to introduce me to them. And I ask myself, how many people do you know that I know? That was where our friendship ended. I said, the mistake you are making is that you think these are the people giving me what I'm giving. No! Sincerity is a currency. Honesty is a currency. Take it. See, I'm, I'm preaching another message inside this message. <laughs> inside this message. You understand it now? I'm preaching, I'm preaching three messages now. I must preach all those that It will not waste too. <laughs> Me, all the time that I spend writing messages, it will waste. I will jam the remaining messages. And I will do it in one hour, maximum one hour. It can't waste. I'll, I'll be praying for conferences in January. Then you just come, you just go like that. No, you will hear it. <laughs> Somebody say, take it to your marriage. The best. Stop telling your children, do this, do this. No, show it. Show it. Let them see you doing it. Let them see you doing it. It's easy. Children learn more from pictures. Growing up, what do you show them? Pictures, cartoons. Become the first picture they see. The first picture that they see. The first picture that they see. Take it to your health. You can be choppy and be healthy. So weight is not a crime as much as bad health. Eating everything as a pastor is 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 signing is, is signing out your your life. Juice, 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 pack juice, juice, juice. Can't drink, can't drink. You are, you are just you are you are just signing a contract with cancer. All kinds of muco into your system. You eat anything. Take it to your health. Watch what you eat. Watch what you eat. Taking a lot of fluid, you are always preaching and sweating. Taking a lot of fluid, drink water, take it to your health. Am I communicating now? Many ministers are dying of several diseases. It's not an affliction of the devil, it's carelessness. Take it to your health, watch what you eat. 45% of what is in my body. Aside the grace of God, is fruits. Fruits. I eat fruits every day. You don't bring my meal without putting fruits. It doesn't have to be too expensive. Go for the fruits you can afford. It can be purple. It can be orange. It can. I mix everything from apple to this to that sometimes not even blended just cut it eat it like that be healthy you saw what the band says it's grace it's grace sir. in that grace there is wisdom i will tell you the truth from 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 massive rap of fufu to massive rap of a wedu from massive rap of a wedu to massive rap of amala who, 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 is, who is pursuing you A pastor will prepare food and you put six eggs. Eat the egg, eat the yolk. Eat the yolk. Eat the yolk. Yolk that anointing destroys. You are eating it. Go to 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 When you abuse your health, don't forget this. When you abuse your health, you cut short your ministry. A sick man can do ministry well. When you abuse your health, you cut short your ministry. Take it to your health. How do you take it to your health? Mind what you eat. Rest. 
Genesis 49 15 and he saw that rest was good rest this work does not finish this work does not finish rest the work doesn't finish Mark 6 31 Jesus said to them come let's rest a while rest don't forget I said what take it what you eat how many of you notice that all the time Jesus will perform miracle he doesn't use meat he uses fish you think he was stupid he didn't multiply he didn't multiply meat he multiplied fish huh? and he multiplied he gave them fish and bread see how balanced the diet is when you carry so much cholesterol in your system there are people today with their hand they are killing themselves with their hand we get down to the north and a pastor go and buy kilishi kilishi eat things that are exposed to the sun eat things that have been infested with flies and tomorrow you become a victim of attack see a pastor will buy full pack of juice and put straw not glasses just put straw the lord is god <laughs> He said, I remember when I was suffering, but now I'm blessed. You are dying. You are dying. I can't remember the year in my life that I drank juice. 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 Not freshly squeezed fruits. Juice in pack. In can. Stop drinking juice. No, because some of you, you like command. You like commandment. You don't like advice. You like command. Stop drinking all those packed juice, canned juice. Am I communicating? Stop it. It's not a gift. Anybody who buys it for you, lay hands on them and tell them to take it back. Because members like buying pastors, things that will kill them. You walk to me and you give me a big bowl of cotton. Because as far as you are concerned, I will sweat till I die. You come straight and you carry a pack of seven a death. Keep quiet. Seven a death. Six a kill. Am I communicating here? Rest. Rest. You know, people say, Apostle is busy back to back. <laughs> oh God. The way I rest. When I go abroad to minister, you don't come to see me in the room. I rest. Let me give you a counsel. Anytime you feel sleeping, sleep. It doesn't have to be night. Don't wait in night to sleep. Anytime you feel sleepy, sleep. Stop hitting your head and you are fighting it. When it comes, that's nature. Go somewhere, put sleep. When sleep comes. Anytime. You know what Smithy Gosto said? I was reading Smithy Gosto's book. He said, anytime my body needs rest, I give it rest don't wait till night to sleep if it's two o'clock in the afternoon that it comes sleep the body is saying it needs rest one time I was I, I just felt that the work was much I said I have to I have to be I was doing two countries a week one day I finished a meeting I got back I was I was physically okay the grace of God was sustaining I was physically okay and I said, and the Lord asked me, he said, why are you jamming your meetings like this? I said, because I need to do this work. He said, okay, you want to finish the work? He said, yes, okay. You end up finishing yourself and the work will continue. Once! Once! And now around the nations of the world, if I minister in a place like Nigeria, I'll give you this on the weekend. Yeah. I'll finish my Bible study. My church will not die because of outreach. I'll finish my Bible study in church before I go and do program. Many years I missed many Bible studies and members were not growing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Attendance was growing, members were not growing. I, I wish you are following I'm talking about. So I do my Bible study, I address it myself. If I'm ministry on a Tuesday, hard! Must be abroad. Within the country, from Wednesday to the program. 
Let me bless my own people first. Let them grow. You can't be solving people's issues and your house is on fire. Let me teach them the basics of Christianity. Let me teach them. Let me not jag my pastors who are also following me. My senior pastors, they'll leave their Bible study. No, do your Bible study. Then come. Let the people grow. I'm just talking to somebody. Take out time, rest, sleep. Your body needs it. Somebody will finish vigil around six. You don't rest. You count set in nine. You don't rest. You are going for housewarming. You don't rest. And guess what? You know, all of these people, they'll be clapping. They'll, they'll be there. Clapping. Yes, daddy. Yes, daddy. Ah, daddy. Ah, this is grace on you is too much. Ah, this grace on you. Ah, God, your energy. If you are not careful, you cross the bloodline. And at that point, you are left to yourself. When that man, that woman, they are calling mommy now. When anything happens, she becomes a widow. Not one person will greet her. They will abandon her, abandon your children. Wicked sets of people. Your help, rest. Rest. There are some times, when, and you know when you want to rest, you rest well. You, your phone cannot be with you and you are breathing that you are resting. Your brain has to rest. Rest. The mind must rest. Am I talking to somebody? Rest! So you are not late to rest. Take heed to your finances. Your finances. Plan your finances. Plan. You are not a showman. Don't buy suits on credit. Plan. Don't buy suits and shoes on credit. Those that bring them to you and say pay later, they are, they are killing you. Tell them I don't pay later. Be careful of your finances. If God has already given you access as a man of God to go into a certain level of business, it is okay. But there are four or five businesses a man of God must be careful of. Land. Land business. A pastor should be careful when he enters such transaction when he wants to start selling land. Two, networking business. Bring five people. Bring six people. Bring seven people. Bring eight people. When you bring eight people, you will not. That business is not good for a pastor. I'm sorry if you are doing it too. I'm talking to those. Networking. Networking. Ah, there's this thing we are doing now. If you bring this thing, you drop the money, they will now start giving you more money. They start giving this. You bring, okay, the more person we bring, yeah, this is my code. Once you use my code, they, 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 they. sir. Those businesses, those businesses, number one, benefits them. Number two, they are not reliable. Because those people, they depend on permutations. Permutations mean they depend on expectation. If the dollar is high, this will happen. If the naira is high, this will happen. If the pound goes up, that is not a business that is fixed. It's built on permutation. So if anything happens and the expectation goes off, and you as a pastor, the people you have brought, some of you who bring your members. Can you see how you don't see as you get sense? Visa racket. The pastor should not be involved. You are not the embassy. The consular is not your son in the Lord. Visa racket. Ah, nah, I'll give you visa. I, I, I've seen people. I've seen people who can, somebody told me, say, Apostle, it's a Germany. You see, there is this thing I have. You can get um a Toyota Camry for half a million you can get this one for a million what you do just get like 20 of them you pay for like an amount you cannot tell your members or any pastor when it was done I was looking I said have you finished say yes I said we'll do the business you or me he said you'll do it I said me I said you, you don't have respect to I should start selling cars because you are a contact I said no there are certain things I don't put myself. Number one, these things are I don't have total control. I don't have total control over shipping dates. I don't have total control over custom clearing. I say anything that I'm not in full control of, I don't embark on. I need to be in full control. That's the kind of business you should do. What you should be in full control of. Hello. Take it. Don't live above means. 
don't buy keyboard on credit when you have only few members to, that, that love music your members they are so passionate about prayer what they need is bell amen don't go and borrow money for keyboard <laughs> Take heed to your management of people. Take heed to your management of people. Take heed. Do not do everything to keep a person. Anybody you do everything to keep, you will lose. Those of you who want to do a ministry, you hear somebody say, keyboard is in another church. You collect him and put him on salary. You will lose him. You will lose him. You collect a drama. You put him on salary. You will lose him. In Europe, that is how they survive. You see, a keyboardist he plays keyboard for four churches, he played for this from six to seven and goes somewhere else for them. Train your own person, train a person, train somebody. You have children, biological, let them learn the keyboard, let them learn the drum, let your children learn that somebody becomes arrogant and. And you are doing everything. You are, you are pampering him not to leave. You are not yourself. Going out of your way. Even having issues in your marriage because you don't want to lose somebody. They will surely go. They will always go. You must understand good management of people. Are you following what I'm talking about? And one of the ways to manage people, you must understand not your management of the external people, management of your team, your team. Take you to your preparation for heaven. Heaven is the ultimate. After all of this, you can't miss heaven. After all of this, purity is the main future. All we have done is a waste if we miss heaven. All from crowd to crusade, from crusade to a big ministry, if you miss heaven. Thank you for watching Udeme Fruitful Channel.